Okay, for the menu system, we're going to get the GNOME menu application. Again, this is also available through the uh, website that's close to GNOME Looks. It's called gtkapps.org. I'll give you the link underneath in the information area. Uh, go ahead and just go on the download. Click there. Uh, and then wait 30 seconds. Uh, let it load. Then it'll pop up with a little another website we're gonna this is the easiest way I mean this is the only way I found to install this so you're gonna have to bear with me here go ahead and click on the gnome over here in this corner to install the tar save it now we're gonna have to do this manually we will have to go into the terminal to install this so now that we have this right click open containing folder in here let's go ahead and where is it find the gnome menu and extract it to here again and now we're going to have to open up a terminal. Let's go to Applications, Accessories, Terminal. In the terminal, we're going to have to go into our Downloads folder, type in CD Downloads, and then go into our GNOME area. So now type in again CD GNOME Menu. And inside, we can press LS to see what files are in here. Uh, basically, follow my directions. Uh, first, type in Make make install sudo this is going to be easier when it looks like and that's it <clears throat> so basically just type in make install with uh, administrative rights and then we have to go uh, right click on our bar go into add to panel then do no menu or just gno and there it is if you don't see it right away you do have to wait a little bit of time so it refreshes I will give you um wait maybe one two five minutes if it's not there then you have to you probably have to do it again but it will be there after if you follow directions completely double click on that and let's add it to the actual thing we need to restart or reload the GNOME menu it seems it is an experimental application it's not completely f win yet uh, but there it is we have the GNOME menu right here we can change that uh, let's go ahead and I don't like the icon at the moment but we can get a better icon going right click remove our original menu from here then move this all the way to the end right click and go to properties let's go ahead and make it customizable to what you want it to do uh, let's see for the menu button selection let's make it uh, more windows like <coughs> or let's see Ubuntu logo Ubuntu Ubuntu of course you can make it yeah you can make it look like uh, still keep it you know Ubuntu like so you know you know what you're using I don't like that one too much, but you know, that's how you customize it. Oh, there it is actually. It pops out. Oh, I do like that. Okay, there we go. We have our Ubuntu down. Uh, that's basically it. Now we have a very similar uh, to Microsoft, of course. Let's go ahead and change that menu so make, make it more Windows-like. Uh, let's see, Vista. Let's go make it Vista. Yeah, that, that's close enough. Vista and 7 are the same thing. So reload the GNOME menu when it closes let it load up completely and click on that and there we are we have the setup just like Windows XP or Windows Vista, Windows, all of them look the same basically but there we go this is how you customize your Ubuntu to look just like Windows that's it thank you for watching Ubuntu Lost videos I hope this found this uh, more uh, interesting uh, informative and now you can you know show, either show off to your friends or you can uh, show people that aren't quite used to Ubuntu and give them a little more uh, comfortable feeling on their desktop. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll be back with more videos.